Hi everybody, Brian from Witch Doctor Series. Welcome and thank you for tuning in. I am resuming my monitoring of this jug of RL26. What I'm monitoring for is to see uh, if this jug is keeping out uh, humidity from from the external world. Uh, I've already probably published, I don't know, three or four updates on this. Um, and have found that no humidity is getting in there that uh, consistent with you know the pharmaceutical industry using HDPE2 plastic to um, house their medicines to prevent humidity from getting in uh, we're seeing the same thing here and basically these jugs these HDB, HDPE2 jugs are keeping the humidity out and I have run this test with leaving my jug outside in very cold, humid, and when I'm saying very humid, I'm talking 90 to 100 percent humidity, and I've had it out in the cold too, down to the 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, also had this jug in in the heat, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, with 60 to 70 percent humidity. So uh, this jug here, as as long as I've been monitoring it, has been exposed to. Uh, pretty consistently high levels of humidity and uh, if you've tuned into some of my original videos on this I've used this Kestrel drop to go ahead and measure the humidity inside the jug I made this little <laughs> uh, little case here that is this fireproof case stuck the drop in there just in case the drop itself I don't know has a little spark static I don't know whatever could possibly ignite this um, that way there's some protection around it while it's sitting um, inside the jug. Anyway, and then this nifty little app, the Kestrel Link app, allows you to go ahead and pull up the data. And the cool thing about this app too is you could pull up uh, graphical representations of the data and just sort of track it. So here we have uh, temperature you can see the temperature variations here inside the jug. So the temperature does change. And this is consistent with the HDPE2 type of plastic that they use in milk jugs. So they make sure they use that plastic in milk jug because it doesn't allow humidity in, but it allows the contents inside to change in their temperature. And that's how milk is able to stay cold inside an HDPT, HDP HDPE2 jug. Now let's go to humidity. Um, and as you can see, this is consistent with, oh, this is when I actually had to change the battery on it. Uh, by the way, this Kestrel drop, the battery, you have to keep an eye on it um, depending on how often you check data points. So when I was checking data points every 10 minutes, this battery died within a couple of months, but then I switched it to 30 minutes and the battery lasted about three, four months. So you can set it to check data every hour or two hours or whatnot, but um, I kept it so that I was checking the data frequently. Um, I wanted to see if there was any slight changes here or there, but actually what I found was there really isn't any. The humidity inside the jug pretty much stays the same as you can see these flat lines like when you saw the temperature you can see some waves in there here uh, it's been pretty flat it will stay between 60.5 to 61 percent and so there is, the humidity from the outside even if it's a hundred percent humidity is really not getting in there it's not changing the humidity inside the jug um, you can see it's pretty consistent. You know, the slight variation that you see in half a percentage could just be error variance in this drop. Um, so yeah, you, basically it's there's no data to suggest that humidity is getting inside this case. So all that to say, go ahead and have confidence that, you know, when you unseal your HDPE2 jug, you know, throw your throws and reload your ammo and then you close this top here make sure it's just well, I just go through and close it so that it's you know average um, uh, pressure to close it it's it's closed and uh, that's it you're you're good to go you're not gonna have any 
massive humidity intrusion in there. You can, like I said, I've kept this jug outside in 30 degree weather, 100% humidity for weeks and saw zero uh, humidity penetration. So, uh, so have confidence that these jugs will keep your powder um, at the same humidity level that it should be. Thanks everyone. Please like, subscribe, and share, and also join my Patreon.